Yeah, Linux Battle Boost against Taros is super super interesting because I think if you have you have battle boots and you're fighting like a heavy axe and hammer, um, <laughs> you can like stay on them super well. But if the hammer and axe player is getting punishes like super efficiently, then it doesn't matter because the damage is even if you hit four moves like on boots and two moves on hammer. <laughs> yeah, so. it's 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 definitely different in that sense, but it just depends on the player in it. You know, like you're saying, if Godly's more consistent with these hits, it's not going to matter. But innately, I feel like I agree with what you're saying. You know, the boots is really punishing for our Taros player, but maybe not to Godly. Godly gets his first stock against Linux with a very clean uh, finish on the right side of the map. Can Linux bring him back here in game one of the set? A good boot string coming out from Linux there. Has him on the edge guard. Godly comes up with the Sair. Linux Godly right very damaged. Stage, yeah. One D-Light Sair, one end light maybe here. Oh, wall slipping. Linux doesn't find the Sair. And Godly finding the triple oh, side light into the D-Light Sair. Has him in the orange. Dark orange. And sets These up. punishes. Oh! Oh! A double a weapon throw, ground pound. Yeah, he does get back up, but it takes a lot of damage for it. He's in red right now, as we speak. I don't, I don't know how. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I just saw a lot of weapon throw downs, and I look <laughs> up, and Linux is red. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's just the Taro's effect in, uh, yeah, he, <laughs> right now in this tournament. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I, oh, he's not gone from that. But that it, what really brought him into the red in this stock was that triple mm -hmm. sidelight D-Light, sir. All he's really oh, good yeah. right now at hitting one move on hammer and consistently going at it and that's hard on a, a weapon like hammer because you're hitting them away super far usually mm -hmm. um so definitely very impressed by golly's hammer right now if he can keep doing what he's doing for this stock then he's definitely gonna win this game but lennox trying to shut that down with his boots him on the off stage yeah. that's how like off stage Luna, I mean, I'm not a little. <laughs> I'm in the Taros. <laughs> You're in the Taros right now, yeah, in the Taros. But I think offstage is, is where Linux can really take advantage of the battle boots as well against Godly, but Godly is so strong with the follow ups uh, on these hammers, like you said, the triple sideline. Oh, the grab from the soft platform, the neutral sig on the gauntlets, bringing it to even stocks on game one. This is still winnable from Linux, from Linux's side of, uh, side of things. Yeah, Linux, he brought, brought it back a little bit, but he is reaching the orange here through that axe. As those D lights keeping him in the air, and lights just keeping him back right now. And that's what you want to do against a boots player that is uh, wanting to bring the lead back. You just want to keep them away from you. Um, that weapon throw goes to the gauntlet, and like a second gauntlet recovery. Ooh. And off stage into the red here. One hit, maybe. I don't think an end light will do it, but definitely a Sarah. Okay, now an end light will do it. Oh, nice D light coming out. I've, I'm also surprised. I haven't seen a ton of um, tarot signatures coming out from the axe side of things. I've seen, I feel like I've seen maybe one side sig or a neutral sig from Godly's play style, but a lot of them is just punishes and uh, regular light attacks coming out from either weapon here. So very consistent, not really relying on the uh, signatures as well for punishes. And uh, very, very clean first game going to Godly on E1. Yeah, that was a very, very consistent good game on Godly's part just holding that stage super super well not making sure that you know Linux could get in with those boots and with the hammer too he's just getting those strings super heavy so yeah he's looking very very good going into this next round if Linux can adapt though and play these boots a little bit better like he's doing right now keeping that momentum mm -hmm. then he can definitely get a game here for himself yeah I've seen some pretty insane and nasty battle boot strings off stage here. Beautiful chase down to uh, to follow with Godly, but didn't really go with an attack to follow up. Godly is getting pieced up though. A lot of pressure being put out with the battle boots and lights and the side lights here. Godly catching with the scoop on the hammer, trying to go for that D light there. But I don't know, just the, the damage difference here is, is really benefiting Godly in this situation, but Linux is trying to bring it back. Linux puts him into the red there with that gauntlet string. Boots and like going out, sending him to the left. He's gonna get this edge guard. Yeah, he actually. Wow. Okay, that was a very interesting interaction there because Godly was going around over him while Linux was chasing with a Sarah. But when he went mm -hmm. to the stage, he like chased him with a GCD light with that range. Got him off the top. Yeah. And now he's just continuing that, that chase with those gauntlets. 
was gonna miss the orange to that string, and that was super, super good for his lead here. He needs to, to Godly needs to get a hit here to kill him. Very, very yeah, quickly. Yeah, I feel like it's happening. Maybe he's trying to fish for that end light, missing two already. Linux trying to take advantage of his of his stock lead by weapon throwing and and, and playing above but gets caught with that d light perfectly from godly godly in the orange though nearing the red shortly after he gets hit by linux and it's it's looking pretty good linux holding a very great advantage going on opting for the forward sending down signature to get that stock yeah super super good option select from linux there now he has a full stock lead with these boots this is honestly scary for a tarot player if you're fighting boots <laughs> and you have heavy weapons and they're in a lead, like any miss for you could be super, super uh, annoying because you get shipped off super easily. But yeah, yeah with that being said, all Godly needs is four hits. <laughs> yeah. With the axe, he tries to opt for that side sig. Uh, early on the right side doesn't connect, and yes, like not not a lot of hits needs to connect for Godly to really even this out. There was such a strong character and strong legend. Godly will need to take advantage of that uh, power difference here soon. Otherwise, he's going to lose his first game of the set against Linux. Nice D-Light side air there, but Linux is still at a great advantage. Ooh. Ooh yeah, that, that weapon throw, like, wep that weapon throw around him to try to cover almost worked, but it was just a little too late. Mm -hmm. um, now, Godly is in the dark orange. One sig here from Linux. We'll get him out of the game. One conversion and a sidelight recovery. We'll get him out of the game. But Godly firing back with his axe. He oh, evens wow. it up instantly. And he's still going. He, okay. He's still going. Oh, he almost got that sidelight. He oh, he just goes for the down thing. Sidelight recovery. Nice. Nice. That was a really, really good Play read going out there from Linux. But Godly almost actually brought it back. That axe. That was almost super, super scary for Linux there. But yet, he had to close it out um yeah yeah but wow as i was saying i mean all you need is four hits but any attempt to hit him um could go wrong like very very wrong against boots and gauntlets um so there he was hitting every move on axe and then you know the one time he missed that Three, side light into two, the recovery one, was gonna get him out the game so now one to one yeah one to one and i feel like linux all he needs to do like you said earlier is just really adapt to how godly plays and get those punishes in because boots against taros's uh axe and hammer is something that can you know you can punish those taros players pretty easily with these boots and in, in their attacks those light attacks versus these these heavy weapons godly's uh wielding but and godly's has stacked a lot more damage this time around and looking like he might get this advantage um for game three here yeah, for sure. Godly has hammer in hand when Linux is in red here. All he needs is one hit. Linux looking to not die here and get that conversion. Maybe one more of those conversions will kill, but then goes that side sink. It's greedy. It's Sarah that's the left, and now Godly has the lead. Axe in hand. Mm -hmm. Oh, Linux can bring it back though. Godly in the red. Trying to go for a weapon starve. Godly successful in doing so. Running with an axe off stage. Linux. Slowing things down a little bit, trying to punish Godly in any way possible, and it's working out in his favor. Definitely, definitely. Right now, it is looking scary for Linux because he cannot find this kill, but he all he needs is one to hit to get this kill here. And that satellite dash delay, sir. He's gonna put him into the red on the right, and this edge guard here has axe. He is still going with it, but that miss is gonna get him out. Now Linux has to play the exact same situation that Godly just played. Mm -hmm. Except yeah, Godly. Yes, in a disadvantage. One hit from Godly is the uh, the end of that second stock for Linux. Linux kind of has got to hit a lot of strings here or follow ups with these battle boots to even come close to the damage difference uh, between the two. But it's not impossible. Linux has definitely shown it before, and he can do it again. A downer gets caught out over towards Linux's side, and he gets taken out. One stock potentially uh, might be the end of him here on this uh, in this game. Yeah, definitely, and. Linux has a whole stock down, but he can get it all stage again with those boots against this axe right here, like he is right now. Oh. Uh, boot string. Nice. Wow. One recovery. It, oh, he didn't go for the ground pound. <laughs> he didn't the, go for the ground pound. Yeah, I feel like he should have went for that just because mm -hmm. he had only a recovery coming back. 
But now he has to play that on stage neutral against Godly here. Godly getting back his axe. Nair, D Light. Let's Lennox into the dark orange here. Lennox goes to that oh, DC. Nice. Pretty... Godly just dodges perfectly through and stares him. Now on this edge guard with the hammer. D Light Sarah. Oh, actually too too low to hit the Sarah there. Players. The stair is too low, but there we go again with another D-Light there and a two-stock advantage, too. Yeah. So godly. Looking pretty strong. It looks like whenever Lennox wants to kill, he's getting super greedy with those sigs. Right there, I greedy with that side sig. It's stared. Mm -hmm. I greedy. Well, he didn't really sig there, but on the last stock, he definitely went for those dash sigs. And um, mm -hmm. that's actually making him pay the price because godly, every time he does that, he's just punishing on it perfectly. Um, so, it, you know... If Godly can keep getting those efficient punishes and keep playing the way he's playing, it looks like he's going to win this set. But Linux needs to... Oh, he switches to the bow. Yeah. So it's, Stops I guess, the sword instead of the boots here. Yeah, I, I think the boots weren't doing it for him the way he like wanted it to because he wasn't hitting those strings. wasn't hitting much. Um, now, having that sword, just more consistent weapon. You can kill it easier. See how he can do it. Mm -hmm. And the gauntlets... I like the Velvet because the gauntlets on Tesco were actually doing a lot better for him in his boots yeah. too. He was hitting a lot of uh, a lot of attacks on those gauntlets, hitting a lot of these uh, Tesco neutral signatures as well against Godly. Um, haven't seen uh, the Val on Sword just yet. Oh, barely missing that down air, which is pretty dangerous in this map as well on Demon Island, as it covers a lot of that area. But Godly has damage stacked up on him basically even out so linux doing a great job of finally taking out that stock with the sword a great ground pound uh to secure that stock as well like you were talking about earlier sword is such a great finishing weapon too uh, it's quick it, there's great follow-ups with it as well but the delight side air just enough to do uh to bring it back to two stocks across the board yeah for sure right now it looks like it is both even but both players are you know, they're playing pretty consistent right now. Linux is looking a lot better than last game. Uh, much more comfortable on this bow pick. Yeah, looking Godly. pretty comfortable, but gets he keeps landing into these D lights. Godly's yeah. got the cover on him. He doesn't let he's not letting up and yeah. a little patient playing from both players here trying to see who goes first for the attack to get the punish. <laughs> Goes that wow. GC sword D light, and he actually gets GC D lighted for it. Now, mm -hmm. probably looking for the confirmed fidgets for it. Doesn't find the recovery. Lennox trying to get that weapon, but Godly just he just runs up to him and dash D lights, and Lennox always gets hit by it. So he always know, Godly is just going for like the obvious option, and it, the obvious option is working for him. Yeah. And oh, oh my God, Lennox, Lennox. He's yeah. As soon as 